we will wish to eradicate malaria in Africa and uh, kick away malaria because you know this is something that will help the whole of Africa. Since we opened, there is nobody with the cases of malaria. The clubs in schools can grow the plant, then the students take the, to the village, and in the village, the, the larger community will be sensitized or will have awareness of how to use the drug. The government should be involved because the problem of malaria is everywhere and is a, is a killer disease. Even the members of the community come there, today you will meet some of them, who had, uh, have seen the importance of this particular plant. Artemisia has brought change in the community. The challenges that we are having is uh, all about the climate. You can only grow Artemisia if you're having enough and plenty of water. Once the land has been prepared, it can grow. We raise the seedlings in a nursery bed. After two weeks, we allow the plant to grow about two to three meters. We take the leaves. Once they are fully dry, we grind them and then they can be used from then. Once you are sick, you drink the concoction. The six plots which are here are enough to help the school. And having seen, having been told what it's done here, I've just read what's happened in another school. And from what I've read in the, in the media, I know that this plant can significantly help in reducing incidences of malaria. The Artemisia Noah Club, one of their hope is that uh, they continue with the project in order to help people. And that comes when there are people who are concerned with the agriculture. So they will en ensure that they involve themselves in agricultural activities so that they become officers, agricultural officers, and then coordinate with the people in the Ministry of Health, and then they help kick out malaria out of the tropical countries. Uh, when this project goes and continues to expand, in the face of Africa, life in Africa will be equal to the life in Europe. If you have a good, uh, well-researched paper that you can present to the government, the government in most cases is ready to cooperate with you if you show them that this is what the people at the grassroots are experiencing. 30% of absenteeism in classrooms in Kenya is due to malaria. Mm. To the teachers and for the students. Our immediate goal is to undertake a longitudinal study to confirm the dual effect of Artemisia annua as a repellent and also a pro prophylactic mm -hmm. use. Before the introduction of Artemisia, mm -hmm. we used to take people to Kenyatta most of the time yeah. because of malaria and because of the stomachache. But since Artemisia was introduced in a community medium, we don't have that problem again. During the US, uh, USA-Vietnam war, they did get solution when they went to China and they got the, this, this plant. They used it effectively to eliminate malaria among their soldiers. We launched ID Kenya because um, we actually believe it has a place to play in this country. It is um, an organization that can actually help the government to uh, begin to take into account some of the problems that are involved in educating the youth in this country.